they did encourage you. She recommended that you, she endorsed things for Father's Day. So, mm -hmm. so sort of thinks if she was in another part of the country, you'd think she was a member of Senator Dodd's family. Who, I who, know. I know. I love that. Here's the problem. <laughs> you know, <laughs> merchants recognized the tendency to parody and, and satirize the holiday and used it to their benefit by mocking the holiday on the same advertisements that were promoting gifts for Father. I can told you, I told you, Mike. We, my, it was sort of considered a joke around my house, Father's Day. Why? You know, actually, you know, Father's Day was, uh, the, you know, we treated actually, we tended to treat Father's Day like we did Mother's Day. We you know we go bring food upstairs and stuff back and not that long right. ago. But, but we didn't go out to things for Father's Day like we did on Mother's Day. We certainly didn't buy candy. Although we did, my father, we, did, we would go get my father some tobacco. Well, you know, part of it, yeah. yeah, and they spend progressively less for men than they do for women. Yeah. Yeah. Less on Father's Day than on Mother's Day. Um, but part of it is, is that by 1937, remember they talked about Father's Day, they calculated that only one father in six was actually receiving a present on that day. Yeah. Yeah. Which means it had not extended as far for commercialism. Yeah, but by the 1980s, the council proclaimed that they'd achieved their goal. The one-day event had became a three-week commercial event, a second Christmas. His executive director explained in 1949, I can remember 1949, you know, <laughs> without the coordinating efforts of the council and the group supporting it, the holiday would have disappeared. Well, if you look at, for example, what is it, um, is it flowers? I mean, if you look at different things, like the, the fourth quarter is always the highest for retail, and then for, like, for flowers. What's the number one day is Mother's Day, isn't it? Yeah. Is, what's the number two day? Is it Easter. Uh, Easter, yeah. And then Christmas. And they're all holidays. They're all holidays. That's why yeah. they're bringing all the flowers. But, you know, so those are the big days. I mean, hey, we could have a father. we got a turkey. We, we don't have an oven, but we've got a turkey that exactly fits into the microwave. We could have a Father's Day turkey. I know. I brought home a turkey yesterday, and I'm like, does the oven work? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, so... But, Cut the microwave. Look at the microwave. The microwave has been running for God knows how long. So, but uh, uh, I, I, oh, the name of the event is usually understood as a plural positive day belonging to fathers, which under normal English punctuation guidelines be spelled Father's Day. The most common spelling is Father's Day, as if it were a singular possessive. Oh, fathers like is in plural. The United States Dodd used the Father's Day spelling on her original petition. But it, was, uh, but it was the spelling Father's Day was already used in 1913 when the bill was introduced and it's still spelled the same way as Crater was com uh, com uh, commended in 2008 by U.S. Congress as official recognition of Father's Day. So uh, basically they recognized her spelling, not the congressional spelling, but the official spelling is the congressional spelling. It's an oxymoron. Which is Father's plural. Apostrophe day, yeah. plural of it. I know. Versus the singular father, yeah. as in one father. Because day. what happened was somebody made a screw up when they when they basically typed it in on the nineteenth, an original type. I wonder what the official way you spell it is for Mother's Day. If it's a singular. It, I, I, have I always thought it was the singular. Well, I think though because Mother's 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 Day was uh, has actually been around. Uh, it's been around for a lot longer. Yeah. Okay. I would have got uh, uh, you know, okay. The, uh, the officially recognized date of Father's Day varies from country to country. It basically the third Sunday of June in the United States. The first uh, celebration of Spokane 1910. Other festivals including honoring fathers have been held in um, Fairmont and in Creston, but the modern holiday did not emerge from those, which is funny, isn't that great? Uh, like I say, for a lot of ways to get back. Modern, you know, talk about Sonora Smart Dodd. Uh, honoring your father's birthday, you know, which is funny, so father, she initially suggested you fit their father's birthday. Oh, of Isn't course. That That's kind of cool to have it after your own father's birthday. But here's the trick. You know why it wasn't her father's birthday? Because uh, they didn't have enough time to get the celebration ready for the fifth, so they made it later in the month. Isn't that a good one? Uh, had nothing to do with anything other than the time. It took too long to get it done right. to have it on the fifth. Otherwise, it would have been on her father's birthday. Brilliant, isn't it? Mm. They were celebrated June 19th in Spokane, Washington, the YMCA, because that's the only time they had them, it was as fast as they could get it ready. Uh, I, I love the unofficial support from figures of William Jenny Bryan was immediate widespread. Woodrow Wilson, Calvin Coolidge, Lyndon Johnson, 
You know, uh, so, but in recent years, retailers adapted the holiday by promoting greeting cards and traditional mail oriented gifts such as electronics and tools. Tools and other shields commonly have activity to make Father's Day. There you go. Uh, there it is. But the, about calls. Yeah, one. more calls are, of course, made on Mother's Day than on Father's Day. Um, but the percentage of collect calls on Father's Day is higher. <laughs> I, don't you love that statistic? I know. Well, I know. She called my. Took all my father up from Scandinavia to talk to my father on Father's Day. <laughs> yeah, but I was calling everybody collect. <laughs> I know, no, but you know, but you know, okay, okay. People want to know the truth about not a spring chick and me. She's been my little girl for a very long time. You know, she was. She's the Asian branch of our family, as my father used to call her. The Asian branch, <laughs> because she she called she called up every Father's Day to talk to my father. She was the only member, only person outside the immediate family that got Christmas cheese. So, <laughs> so that's now you know, you know, and, 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 and so, but that's uh, how uh, she's gets, you know. But uh, uh, okay, Father's Day ten to her. And also, calls from uh, Father's Day tend to last longer than they do on Mother's Day because they collect calls. I can guarantee you two hour calls from, from Denmark. So, you know, this was before the days of Skype and. Uh, yeah, and they, they might. That's when long distance calls were really expensive, and I don't know why they let me talk that long. No, but she'd call, and my mother would say to JC, wants to talk to you. And my father would go, in, oh, hi, JC. And you just talk for hours. They said, you talk to your dad yet? Well, no. <laughs> he, won't, you know, he won't let me talk this long. <laughs> oh, I'd say that? Yeah, well, because, yeah, well, she wouldn't talk for that long to her, her father because her father was a businessman. So <laughs> my father was retired. So <laughs> we obviously had more. But, uh, uh, okay, father, okay. Um, Seeing those things, you don't even remember them. <laughs> okay, here's a reason why. They figure, you know, the estimation of why there's actually less calls to fathers than there are mothers. Why? Because the mothers tend to run most households in the United States. Yeah. So therefore, they call mothers more often than fathers, which is funny. Uh, basically, uh, I think mothers more outwardly like take the initiative yeah. to contact their kids than do fathers. I know. But basically, we got um, here's a here, here, here's a, another just like the antecedent, which we already know. This is what came in later. That could tell you. We try to give you things that aren't we talked about before. Another individual actually claims Father's Day, even though the United States Congress honored Miss Sonora Smart, Dodd. Oh. So here's the one that is now claiming it right here. Okay, and this is from July 5th, 1908, which actually is earlier than the other one. Yeah. This was in Fairmont, West Virginia, in the Williams Memorial Methodist Episcopal Church South, now known as Central United Methodist Church. Yeah. Um, and her name was what, Grace Golden Clayton? Yep. Okay. She chose the Sunday nearest to her, the birthday of her father. Yeah. It's like the other been. one. Yeah. Uh, oh, he was a Methodist minister. Yeah. Fletcher Golden. Yeah, so which is a somewhat famous person in that area. So. Oh, really? Yeah, so they're basically trying to change history. Uh, Can we say that I will flip a coin and bet this woman is a Democrat? Why? Because the Democrats have a tendency to change history. Oh, and it says the city was overwhelmed by other events and celebration was never promoted outside um, the town itself, and no proclamation was made in the city council. Hey, you know what? We could sit there and do that and talk about something that happened like in eighteen nineties. Yeah. Right. Yep. <laughs> you know, uh, it, it's just they uh, they take a thing. I mean, no, this is how it is done. Though sometimes, I mean, like do most people understand that um, White Castle hamburgers were actually the first fast food hamburgers, or that they, uh, another place is uh, another place in I think in New York, upstate New York, is credited with making the first. Hamburger. It was a Hamburg. Uh, maybe it's her, her kids that are doing it, her grandkids. I they, think so. Because yeah. they're saying, well, you know, there were two other things that overshadowed it. it was there was a July Fourth celebration um, that took over the headlines. Um, yeah. <laughs> and there was the death of a 16-year-old girl, and you know, it's like she was not 
Well, she was a quiet person, so she never promoted the van or other, talked to other people about it. And that the original sermon was not reproduced in the press and it was lost. Plus, Clayton was a quiet person, never promoted the event or even talked to other persons about it, which means, for all practical purposes, it never really happened. It was a church service. Yeah, like commemorating her dad. Commemorating her dad. It was as close to his birthday. My guess, I'll lay odds the guy was either sick or dead. And um, they decided to honor the minister or something, sick or dying, and they honored him. Got to honor the minister on his birthday. Couldn't do it because they had other things to do it. It was a sermon, and now that's why the other person was getting credited with it. Because, because she, it's probably long, and there's a lot more history behind yeah, it. Yeah, but this was nothing more than a church sermon. So, but she's trying to to change. They're trying to change history to give her credit. For some, I mean, everybody knows the Wright brothers did not fly the first plane. They did the longest flight. Everyone knows that Henry Ford did not do the first automobile. But they've got the biggest. They got the credit they for got it. The credit, they so. made the biggest, well, noise about it. Uh, here's the uh, here's the bit. Clayton was mourning the loss of. <laughs>